Hello folks and welcome to Friend Week. Five days, five battles, five teams, and four opponents. Yeah, this is just kind of my way of celebrating the fact that I finally reached 50 subscribers. By the way, thank you DarkAssassin125 for being my 50th subscriber. Really made my day. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm starting off the week with my the first pass that I ever designed for PBR, the, my Sydney pass. Um, which I haven't used in a battle in a really long time, or in a friend battle in a really long time. Not since I battled Zaki or Akalcom way, way, way back when. Um, but anyway, so I start off with my Charizard and my, uh, Steelix. Um, and, uh, Steelix I figure can survive the close combat, and I'm right, although it doesn't survive it with very much HP at all. Um, and so now, uh, Heroin's got its defense drop, so I figure that I can KO it with Air Slash with Pidgey. Anyway, um... I get a Thunderbolt to the face, uh, which I wasn't expecting. It doesn't KO me, but it does paralyze me, so I'm like, ah, that's awful. Anyway, Pidgey uses Air Slash, I'm like, does he have a berry? What's going on here? And it missed! What the heck? It missed? Um, I thought it had perfect accuracy. Is it like he's using a weird, um, is he using a bright powder or something? Turns out it has 95% accuracy, so 1 in 20 chance this happened, and it happened. But I do manage to Stone Edge, um, uh, his other guy, Miss Magius, and KO it in one hit. So that's nice. Anyway, out comes, um, Galate, uh, not Galate. Uh, he confused me with the fact that he named a friend's laid. Um, what is it? Sceptile. So I'm gonna do a, uh, double switch here, um, because Steelix is too slow to survive anything, and with the Parahacks, um, so is, um, my other guy, uh, Pidgey, my Charizard. Anyway, um, close combat, I do predict that switch correctly. Uh, close combat um, does nothing to Rotom because it's a, it's a ghost. Uh, Kazulu is my uh, specially defensive um, Tangrowth and takes that Dragon Pulse like it was nothing. Um, and so that forces him to switch. He sends out... Um, he predicts my uh, Shadow Ball and so his Momo, his uh, Ambipom doesn't get any hit. Um, so anyway, here comes a Leaf Storm, which manages to one-hit KO Tachikoma. I was really expecting it to survive with, like, one HP or something, but, uh, Tachikoma's not that bulky, so it is what it is, and my Rotom is down. Um, Kazulu goes ahead and uses Sleep Powder, um, and so, uh, his only remaining, or, anyway, his friend's laid, his, um, Sceptile is asleep, and so now I'm gonna go ahead and send out Kira, uh, to go ahead and use Heal Bell, but unfortunately, um, I get flinched by the, uh, by the fake out. I really wish, um, I could get, uh, Kira with, uh, Steadfast. I wish I, that would be awesome, actually, Steadfast on, um, Gardevoir as well, instead of just Gallade. But it is what it is. Anyway, I take out, um, uh, Momo, his Ambipom, and one hit with Power Whip, which is awesome. Um, that was a great choice on my part to, uh, add Kazulu to this team. It's, it hasn't really done too well um, in the battles that you've seen so far, but it it's doing pretty well now. Um, KO'd one Pokemon, put another one to sleep. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Anyway, um, I send Hadarak, my Steelix, back out, um, and, and uh, he uses Megahorn, which is going to be really, really resisted, so it does nothing, which is absolutely great. Um, Friends Laid wakes up, which is not good for me at all, and Dragon Pulse um, does nothing because um, uh, Gardevoir is a special tank. Um, anyway, here comes the Heal Bell, and I've got some nice. Uh, and so now uh, I've gotten rid of that Parahax. Um, and here comes a Mega Horn, which will KO my Kira, my Gardevoir, because um, as def as specially defensive as Gardevoir is, um, it can't take a punch. Uh, it's got a glass jaw. Uh, but that is, it is how it is. Um, Leaf Storm, even at minus two, um, does take out, uh, my, um, what's it? That thing. Steelix. Why am I having so many, much trouble rem remembering Steelix? Anyway, so now it's not looking too good for me. I'm down to three Pokemon, one of which is pretty much dead. Um, so I go ahead and send Kazulu back out in addition to, um, Pidgey, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping that Pidgey will be able to outrun stuff since it's no longer paralyzed. Um, but that didn't go too well the first time around. Um, yeah, I guess he could have attacked, uh, Sceptiles are fast like anything, but, uh, luckily, at minus, t uh, you know, two, um, Leaf Storms later, he decides it's better to switch out. Um, Megahorn is gonna go ahead and attack, 
Uh, he'll go ahead and attack with Megahorn, which is super effective, and I can't tell if I've survived. In fact, I have survived, so kudos, really kudos, uh, Kazulu. You did a great job there. Um, then I use Hidden Power, Ice, um, not predicting the switch, and so that does nothing, uh, and I'm kind of screwed here. Uh, so I get a little bit of leftover recovery, um, and a switch out with Heroin, uh, and out comes Toxicroak. Uh, Pidgey goes ahead and uses Air Slash. I wasn't going to go for the Heat Wave. Um, and this time it hits, and one hit KOs Toxicroak. It is super effective, but, um, yeah, it's just nice to see, you know, Pidgey does have the firepower, it just doesn't have the survivability, I guess. Um, oh, I got a Roostin, so I'm back up to a decent HP. But it doesn't matter because Surf is going to devastate me and takes out uh, both of my Pokemon. So now I'm down to my last Pokemon. Now my last Pokemon is going to be uh, Angler, my Lantern, who has gotten himself out of some pretty tough situations. But I don't think he's gotten himself out of any situations just as tough as this. Um, yeah, what, he has three Pokemon left? Um, uh, down to my one. So yeah, this is not going to go well. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry. He's down to his last two Pokemon, but it is two against one, and I, uh, there's no way I'm going to survive this. Um, no, wait, he has three Pokemon. Don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, Thunderbolt against Milotic, just to try to do something. Um, Earthquake uh, goes off, and um, Angler does survive with quite a bit of HP, so that's pretty impressive there. Um, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take that Ice Beam, you know, he would have been better off using Surf, except for it would have hit KO'd his guy. Um, but, uh, yeah, so here comes the Thunderbolt, uh, which, as I recall, does take out my low tick. Yeah, it does. So it's, um, two against one, and the next Earthquake is going to kill me. But, you know, I'm one of those kind of people who says, never say die, you know, the battle's not over until it's over, he could have a misclick or do something stupid, so who knows, I might still win this. Um, did I mention my opponent is Cool Z Dragon? If not, I'm sorry about that. Um, cool Z Dragon, uh, this was a good battle. Anyway, yeah, he, uh, my opponent takes me out, um, with another Earthquake, even though Leaf Storm would have done just as well, um, and this battle is over. So, Cool Z Dragon, great game. Sorry if I didn't uh, credit you in the beginning. Uh, people out there, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, and enjoy Friend Week. So long.